All right, let's talk about tuna now. Tuna fish sandwiches may be a lunchtime staple for your kids, but a new study from a consumer advocacy group suggests that the mercury levels in canned tuna are surprising and dangerous. CNN medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen joins us now. So, uh... It's a little freaky. It is a little freaky. I think people think, well, tuna, what could be healthier and better for kids? And kids love it. I know some kids who will eat nothing but tuna, right? <laughs> and you rejoice at that. Exactly, because it's better than some other things they could be eating. But we've known for a while, Carol, that tuna has a lot of mercury in it, that it, 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 especially albacore tuna, that there are relatively high levels compared to some other fish. What this group did was this group, the Mercury Policy Project, went out and bought a bunch of tuna, and what they found was that it had even more mercury in it than what the government has found when they've gone and done their sampling. So they say there's even more mercury in tuna than what we thought. So how does mercury get into tuna? I know, it does sound crazy, doesn't it? I mean, I hope they're not eating thermometers or anything like that. <laughs> but no, really what it is is that there's mercury in the pollution that's in our air. That air goes over the water, falls into the water, the fish live there. So that's what happens. And then the tuna are predators, so they eat other fish. So they have their own mercury plus the mercury that those fish have. Okay, so... How harmful is it for kids to eat then? I mean, how worried should parents be? Right. It's impossible to say this is an absolute safe level and you'll be fine if your kid only eats this. But I am, we'll, we'll tell you what the government regulations are. And I think a lot of people don't know this, that the government actually has recommendations for how much tuna your kid should be eating or if you're pregnant. So when you're looking at albacore canned tuna, the government recommends no more than six ounces a week. And, and that's, that's not a whole lot. I mean, if your kid's eating a lot of tuna fish sandwiches, that, that's, that's got to be above six ounces a week. For light canned tuna, it's 12 ounces a week. So you can see here, albacore seems to be the more problematic one. Now, it's interesting. Groups like Consumer Reports and this group, they recommend eating even less tuna. But I just showed you with the government regulations. These folks recommend even less. All right. Just scared to eat anything these days. It's just kind of sad. Elizabeth Cohen, thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, our talk back